Hi everybody and welcome to Virtual Storytime at the Castle Shannon Library. It is December and we are getting ready for all of our super fun December holidays. So today we are going to read a Hanukkah story called How Do Dinosaurs Say Happy Hanukkah? And it's by Jane Yolen and Mark T. So we've got our dinosaur hanging out on the front here. We've got our dinosaur hanging out on the back here. They're playing a game. Now, just a little piece of disclosure. Miss Christie does not celebrate Hanukkah, so I don't probably won't have a lot to extra stuff to add, but I'm just gonna read the book and I'm not gonna try to point out anything extra because I don't wanna get anything wrong or call it the wrong thing or say the wrong thing. But look at all these dinosaurs. Let's talk about that first. Look at all of these dinosaurs and they all have names on them. I think they're the same ones on both page. And we've got a, oh my goodness, these are hard names to say. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to say them. Ichthyostega, Nodosaur, Celadosaurus, Arizonasaurus. I can't read what that one says because there's a, something over top of it. Nyctosaurus. Bar Baryonyx, Dracorex, Christostenotes, Rugops, and a Camarasaurus. Now, I don't know a whole lot about dinosaurs either. I wonder if these are all real dinosaurs. We'll have to look that up. But this is How Do Dinosaurs Say Happy Hunting? Look at that one. Look at look at his wings. That's craziness. Does a dinosaur act up on Hanukkah nights when mama comes in with the holiday lights? And look too, on this, in this book, it tells us the name of whatever dinosaur this is. So this is one of the, this is the Dracorex. Does he fidget and fuss through the candlelight prayer? This is the rug ops. Does he blow out the candles when no one is there? This is the notosaur. Does he peek at the present stash under dad's bed? This is the Celadosaurus. Does he write his own name on each gift card instead? This is the Ictiostega. I sure hope I'm saying these right. That's why I should practice before story time. And the very next day, does he grab up the gelt? This is the Chris, Chris, oh my goodness. Chiros denotes, maybe, maybe. Squeezing the candy corns till they all melt. This is the Arizona Saurus. At least that one has the name of a state in it, so I can actually pronounce it. Does he snatch away dreidels so no one else plays? This is the Nyctosaurus again with the cool wings. Does he do this for each of the eight festive days? This is the Baryonyx. No, a dinosaur doesn't. He sings every prayer. This is the Camarasaurus.
takes turns with the dreidel, remembers to share. I don't see the name on this guy. Did we see him already? Because I don't see the little name printed on here. He eats up his lockies, helps clear away dishes. We've already seen this guy too. Gives Bubby and Zeta big Hanukkah wishes. Hope I said that right too. Each time he's in bed for eight nights, hear him snore. Happy Hanukkah, happy Hanukkah, you good dinosaur. And that is the end of our story. All the dinosaurs are back here in the back again just like they were in the front and the names are the same. So we did see this guy before. We had seen him once before. So that's why there was no, there was no name under him. So that is the end of our story. We are also going to do a craft and our craft today is a paper plate menorah. So uh, if you would like to go over to the children's department website, if you are watching this on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, Go over there and get the instructions on how to make your paper plate menorah. It's very easy. And we also have make and take kits here at the library. So if you are able to come over and grab one, we have those while supplies last so you can make your paper plate menorah. And we hope that you are enjoying December, enjoying all the fun holidays that are coming up, whatever holiday you celebrate. And we can't wait until we can be back together in the library for story time soon. Have a great day.